if we understand individual needs, we can uh, understand what motivates uh, members of our team. So understanding them at an individual level and what's important to them means that we can tailor our approach to motivating them accordingly and to give us the best chance of success. When we talk about needs, we talk about the, the eight that motivate. So there are eight different categories or ways in which people's needs differ uh, that we can use to help think about motivation. People who have a need to achieve like to be busy and tend to be goal-focused and competitive. So they will typically react positively to rewards and incentives and appreciate clear timescales and stretching targets. Those with a need to please, on the other hand, tend to avoid disagreements and confrontation, but respond well to feedback. So it's important to set them visible goals that are part of a collective team effort and give them regular and public praise. People with a need to belong are highly sociable, so it's a good idea to involve them in team activities wherever possible and to give them people-focused responsibilities and the chance to build relationships. A need for autonomy typically manifests itself in a desire for freedom and self-management. So people with this particular need respond well to being allowed to work independently and can thrive on being given management responsibilities. People with a need for variety love brainstorming new ideas and are highly flexible and adaptable. So getting them involved at the start of projects and providing opportunities for a change in environment and responsibilities can help to keep them engaged and motivated in the long term. With a need for structure tends to come a high degree of organisation and reliability, together with a preference for routine and a high level of support. So for people with a strong need for structure, it's important to agree goals and targets and provide plenty of clarity about what's expected of them. People who have a need to care typically display considerate behaviours and concern for other people's welfare and respond well to being given support roles in the team where they can have people responsibilities. And lastly, people who have a need for control have a strong dislike of ambiguity and thrive on organisation and detail. So keeping them engaged and motivated is all about ensuring that they have plenty of opportunity to manage tasks and projects and take on team responsibilities. <laughs>